what's the situation? Gimme, give gimme, give what? It's like a freaking missile or a generator or rocket? It's like a freaking rocket! Oh boy! Guess he was an arms dealer, wasn't he? Ah! Weapons than that to blow those. What tanks? What? 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 Volatile tanks. Well then. I actually can't see. Where's the volatile tank at? Back there? I don't know. Where is the volatile tank? Where's the volatile tank? Back there? Actually. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Nope, that's not what I meant to do, but okay. Wow, look at that. Hi. Mac. You should be like dead, man. This is a bad spot. Um, oh, shoot. I was going to go over there. Oh, I'm trying to get off this thing. I have cryo on, right? Okay, we don't have any left over there. Not exactly sure. Oh, go! production facility oh, hey credits yeah that was not a good idea where are they oh it's a huge mix he still thinks I'm Allison gun interesting and flash Try to get some of these little guys out of the way before the mech decides to come and play. Ah! Okay, where's the little guy? Next to me, that would actually be great because then I could smack him. Sweet! 
issues with the angle here. Can you get that guy back there? Can you reach him? No? That just... She's at. Whoa! Just whoa! Like freaking whoa! Who is dying? Like, oh my gosh! I did nothing to her! Not fair! else is freaking you just you need to just stop oh wow you did you died quick hold on hold on don't kill that one don't kill it oh that didn't matter I don't think that 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 that, that counted dumpling because they were already on the ground Dead Merc. This might be useful. Yay, tech damage! I needed another one of those. Okay. Clear it. Oh, med kit. Look at it. Keep them busy. I'll take care of this myself. I'll take care of this myself. I think this is a pretty tough battle. Where did it? Where did it? Ow, 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 ow. Oh, hey, you're kind of isolated. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like right in the midst of the. Oh boy. Come on. Actually, this really Contact. needs to happen. This really needs to happen right now. Oh boy. Okay, maybe not. Oh boy. Oh, uh, you. Nice. Oh boy. Okay, never mind. Up, oh, down, Shepard. Don't you be grabbing the freaking palladium like a mad woman. Barrier. You need to go. Also, I can toss a platform grenade at you. There they are. You're like freaking dead, practically. I know there are more of you back there, but freaking just let me eat. He's like frozen. to the battles, like, act really encouraging you to get up in their faces. It's extra cool with, um, Vanguard, because you can easily get up in their faces. Like, you don't just have to run up there and, like, be like, oh, hey, let me just run up to you while you're shooting me, you know? This is, like, a transport room, like a loading bay or something over there. Wow, wow, nothing. Where are we going? Ah, through yon door. Pretty, like a waiting room, maybe. 
Cutscene! Ah, uh, free and clear. Huh. It's too quiet. Too quiet. Why does it sound good? Oh my gosh, it's the, it's the, 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 the thing that we saw in the... Could have done this the easy way, Gold. Allow me to show you the hard way. It's the Turian frigate thing. Uh, okay. We're gonna need to pay attention to the people down left. below, too. <laughs> Woo! Barrier would definitely freaking be nice. Who's down here? Okay. Shield have failed. Whoa. Um... Hopefully this works. Ah. Yep, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I don't think this is gonna work as well as I wanted to. Get this. Okay, then do the Requesting thing. assistance. Ah. We're getting that completely spot.
out this land of the little guys. Oh, get down, get down. Let's bring back the Sumi.
Where are you guys at? Cause I mean, oh, hey, shuttle. Well, I guess we didn't really didn't come here to kill him. We just came here to get our stuff, <laughs> and we did. Thanks, Joker. Come here and get the gray box. That was a good battle. Oh, so we did grab the gray box, the actual gray box. I thought she just downloaded it. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're using the shuttle's facilities. Okay. Kasumi, if you're seeing this, it's because I'm dead. The information we found is all here. It's big, Kasumi. Council ever got wind of this, the Alliance could be implicated. Kasumi, I, I encrypted the information to keep it safe, and I uploaded the encryption key to your gray box, so no one could get the whole package. But if I'm dead, and if anyone knows about this, then I've made you a target, my love. I'm so, so sorry. KG. I know you, Kasumi. You'll want to keep these memories forever. But you don't need some neural implant to know I'll always be with you. Please, Kasumi. <laughs> destroy these files. There's nothing more I can do to protect you. I... I can't do that. This is all that's left. Goodbye, Kasumi. I love you. Very sad. She keeps a happy, upbeat personality, but shows a strength of character, I think. Is there any way we can just destroy the information? No. Keiji's a master at encrypting files. He laced the information into his memories. You can't get one without experiencing the other. And I did have her destroy the gray box. At the time, it seemed like, as, as sad as it is, it seemed like kind of a selfish thing to keep when such information could get her in trouble, could get the Alliance in trouble. It also is the kind of information that maybe should be put out, if you want to argue it that way. Like, you know, it's like, well, if it's bad, we still need to know about it because we can't just keep hiding our secrets or whatever, but... You heard him, Kasumi. He'd want you to destroy the information and save yourself. I know. I just... I can't. This is all that's left of him. She doesn't have the Drell capacity, you know what I mean? Like, the Drell don't need these things because they have perfect memory recall. This is as close as a human could get to perfect memory recall of these events, you know? I think I, th I think I did that. If it's easier. I could do it for you. I. Okay. Just get it over with, please. He's still living inside you. You still have your memories. If I 
I did it, but... Oh, gain one point. Yay! Kasumi is loyal. Kasumi power unlock. Kasumi new outfit. Blah, 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 blah. Yay! I think I usually like to let other people take responsibility for their actions, but I don't know. Well, I don't know that one. It was the up one, and I was trying to be as gentle as I could in that situation. So, and I generally took the up options, the paragony type options. I will. I will let you in on a little spoiler, though. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Mass Effect Three, um, in Mass Effect Three. Um, she sort of compiles the data anyway <laughs> from the fragments, but... Yeah, look at that! Where my dress? you received a new message at your private terminal. Look at me in my dress! I look good in my dress. Let's go talk to Kasumi really quick. I'm not gonna run around in the dress. I feel like that's pretty, uh... It's, it's, it's formal wear, but it's not military wear, so... But it does look nice. I might wear it a little bit. And I don't think anybody's responses to you changes at all if you're wearing it or not, but Shepard gets a new outfit for doing this. <laughs> you okay? I was just thinking about you. I really appreciate your help with the Hawk Heist. I know why we had to destroy Keiji's gray box, but it doesn't make it any easier. Edie has a wicked sense of humor. Mm -hmm. Or I should say, a really funny lack of one. Sometimes she seems like a person. But when it comes down to it, I can't get past her being a computer. This one security guy keeps <laughs> staring at me. I think his name is Bert. I'm used to being watched by security, but they're usually staring at my eyes or watching my hands. I might have to start cloaking through the CIC from now on. <laughs> I thought, I, it's kind of weird we don't get a cutscene with her, but... There, yeah, maybe we'll poke Thane really quick. Do you need something? I look so Have good! To talk? Of course, Shepard. Join <laughs> me. I've been thinking about you. <laughs> and I, you. What? Will you hear my confession? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I kind of had a feeling that this was going to happen, but still, it's like, woo! Still in my nice clothes from the last heist. <laughs> last time we talked like this, you said you'd explain what Siha means. I need to explain myself to you first. <laughs> when I married Erika, the Hanar let me leave their service to raise a family, but I had no other skills, so I freelanced. When Erika was killed, I pursued those responsible. Once I'd eliminated them, I had no goal. I accepted the Dantius Commission because I didn't know what else to do. I think I... Oh, what did I say? I, I, I'm curious who he got the Dantius Commission from. Maybe it was Cerberus, honestly. So we could kind of test his abilities? I don't know. Uh... Not the healthiest attitude to take on a mission. You're right, it's not. Looking back now, it's clear I'd resigned myself to death. I would have fulfilled my contract. If Nasana's guards caught me afterwards, it would have been a good death. But someone else was pushing to reach the target. Yeah. Forcing me to move faster. Challenging me. I had to reach her first. I had no idea you planned to die in there. It wasn't a plan. My body had accepted its death. My mind had been dead a long time. But I met another Siha. Few are privileged to meet even one. Oh you still God. haven't told me what a Siha is. One of the warrior angels of the goddess Arashu. Fierce in wrath. A tenacious protector. I confess, I've come to care for you. Perhaps I'm being foolish. We are very different. <laughs> this music makes me want to cry every time. Uh, Shepard just looks so disinterested. But it's, it is odd, this relationship. And I remember first, when I first like fell in love with him or whatever um this was actually a very intense moment because he's dying and you don't just jump into a relationship with a dying man 
You know, it's not healthy for you. It's not respectful to him. Um, so, so it was, it was odd. Like, or it was, it wasn't odd. It was just something you had to take into consideration in that, you know, it being a video game, you're like, oh, I'll find a way to save him, you know? But initially, you needed, I feel like you need to take that into account because it takes a certain type of person to fall in love with someone who's dying. And you don't do that lightly, I think. That's just, that, that, that's basically what it is for me. I'm not sure we know each other well enough to call it love. But I feel something for you, too. <laughs> something more than friendship. I've never felt affection for another species. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do now. We'll just have to figure it out. I look forward to the memories. Indeed. I do think it's a little bit awkward. It's like the whole hand-holding thing. It's like, hi. It's like like little kids or something. But I, said, I like that it's not like, you know, I don't know you well enough to call it love, but it's something, you know? And... I don't know. He's a very different man than I think she would usually fall in love with. Like, she likes dangerous men or whatever, but I don't think she just falls into bed with whoever, you know, the, the next bad boy or whatever, but... It's, uh, he's more than a bad boy, you know, he's, uh, he's so much. He's got layers and depth of character that not a lot of characters in games can have. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? You needn't ask. Time for me is short, Siha, but any I have is yours to take. How are you feeling? No worse than ever. You needn't worry. And you, you are well? Woo! No need to worry about me. How are you holding up? I'm looking forward to the end of the mission. It has been many years since I felt I could relax anywhere. <laughs> we owe ourselves a memorable vacation. We should pick a destination. There must be some travel brochures in the ship's computer. Something to look forward to. I would very much like to see a desert. It surprised me that he's never seen a desert before. Like, I know the, the planet, you know, was a long time ago gone, but you'd think in some of his missions he'd have landed on a desert planet, but I guess not. But it's interesting. Very, very interesting. <laughs> That's good. I like that. It still, it still makes me all smiley and giggly, and it's... With the other people, it's it's flirty, but this, at the same time, it's the relationship with Thane is tentative. It's not like I'm falling head over heels for you or anything, like, you know, like, instantly or whatever. But you don't... The fact that she's willing to have feelings for a man who's dying, that she's willing to act on those feelings, I think says a lot about her character. And that he's willing to live, even though he's dying, he's willing to live, but... No messages for you, Commander. I, you said I had one earlier. Okay. Oh, hey. Uh, hey, Shepard, I just want to let you know that the Drell kid's doing okay. Everything's taken care of legally, and he's doing some work for me, helping me deal with some trash in the wars, maybe make life better for some of the kids in the like mouse. Not perfect, but then what is? Don't know if your Drell and mine are talking. I love that line. Your Drell and mine. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, like Pokemon or something. I told him life was too short not to, but I don't know if it took. Good luck out there, Bailey. I think Bailey will be good for, for Kolyat. Um, because Bailey knows what it's like, sort of, to have a kid that he didn't do exactly right by, you know? So, he's not gonna push on Cole yet, but he's just gonna give him a little bit of advice from Tombs. Um, what the hell kind of game are you playing, Shepard? You did the buddy act when I had the gun on that Cerberus scientist telling me you understood. Oh! All right, now I found out you're working for Cerberus. Tests were done on me that you can't even imagine. For years, Cerberus did them. They tortured me. They used me as a darn lab rat. Um, now, and now you're teaming up with them like they're any other Merc band? I've got my own Merc team now, Shepard, and I kill any Cerberus team I can find. If I run into you, don't expect any different. I wonder if we'll run into him. Let's check, um... Right, right. Um, I don't like that one. We'll try that one. I think I like his darker one better, but we'll see. I do like that one on Kasumi. I do like that one. I do. I do, I do. Maybe we'll do Garrus's next, since we're in the vicinity. 
But we'll see. I kind of want to do a rival, actually. So, anyway, I'm going to call it here. Um, thank you guys for joining me in these uh, action-packed and romance-filled last couple episodes. <laughs> I appreciate it. I will see you all in the next one.